Hey everybody, I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be making up some waffles. That's right, we are making homemade waffles. It's super easy, super simple. You're not even gonna miss Bisquicks, okay? So let's get in here, let's review this waffle maker. It is Weber's four waffle maker baker, <laughs> four count. Now they also had Belgium waffles, all kinds of different waffle makers, guys, not just this one. If you guys have not checked out Vever and their website yet, I highly suggest you do it. But make sure you have a couple of hours because you're gonna be on there for a while. They have so many different things. Look at all the different waffle makers they have here and I didn't even put all of them up here. We are going to be doing Vever's four slice maker though at $43.99. This is Vever's most reasonable deal though, running only at $43.99 can you get this waffle maker. So I think that's a, a great deal. I know the ones that I get at Walmart don't last very long. Mine actually stopped mid waffle, if you believe it, the Hamilton Beach one. So I'm excited to give this waffle maker a try and let's see how it holds up and just how fast we can make our waffles. So let's get in here, let's whip up a batch of waffles. You won't believe how easy it is. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Carolina and I live in Montana. I do a lot of food bank hauls, pantry cooking, and product reviews on my channel. If that's the kind of content you're into, I hope you'd consider subscribing. I'd love to have you come join me in the kitchen. All right guys, let's get into these waffles and let's see what we can do. I'm just gonna be making a classic vanilla waffle. I'm gonna have the recipe listed below in the description box. I'm going to be timesing it by four though because I have a frozen one pound block of butter and four times you get would require a whole block of butter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a four times. I have all the eggs, I have the flour, I have the butter. Let's just make it up, make a whole bunch and get them in the freezer. So hopefully that'll last me several emergency breakfasts. <laughs> so let's get this in Chef Mike and get this melted down while we mix the rest of our ingredients. Ingredients. All right, I pulled out the biggest mixing bowl I own. So we'll do that and use my two cup measuring cup here. And we're gonna measure out eight cups of flour. Two, eight. Okay. All right, we're gonna add about four tablespoons of brown sugar. It does call for regular, but I have lots of brown sugar, so I'm using brown. Just a little more. Okay. Can't find my teaspoons. Ah, so we're just guesstimating. Don't do this. All right, so we're gonna do about four tablespoons of baking powder. And one teaspoon of salt. Just a sprinkle just to counteract, counteract the sweetness in it. All right, and that's it for our dry goods. Okay, let's wait for our butter. Guys, our butter is melted here. Got a few chunks in there. Right, so I'm gonna need about seven cups of milk. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this butter in here. And then we'll measure out our milk. Buttermilk would be really good, but just use whatever milk you have on hand. I'm using some home canned milk. So there's four, seven, eight eggs, and then I'm also going to add two teaspoons of vanilla to this. All right, let's get the eggs scrambled up a bit. I got my waffle iron on, the green light's on. You guys see that green light? So it's ready to go. It's just waiting on me. Finish getting this all mixed up. Now it may seem like a lot of butter, but that butter is what helps you get a really crisp waffle. So like the butter, if you could put coconut oil in it, want in it, you could put pretty much any kind of fat you want in there. That's just what helps get it super crispy. And butter is what makes it taste really good. So if you want a restaurant style waffle, you gotta add that butter. I mean, I think that looks pretty good. It's a little lumpy, but that's okay. We'll let it sit for a little bit. All right, guys, let's give her a try. I'm gonna give her a quick spray with just some canola oil. Here's a third cup measuring. Here's it. All right, 
Close her up. We'll check back in a couple minutes. The ready light went off. So I'm thinking whenever the waffles are crispy, because you set it to the temperature, I guess the crispness you want. So I went to four. So we'll see when that light pops on if it's ready. All right, the ready button's on. Let's see. Oh, no, maybe that just means it's up to heat. Up to temperature. So we'll let that cook a little longer. So far, I'm excited though. Usually the best way for me to tell when a waffle's done is you see all the steam coming up. That's all the moisture getting released from the waffle. So that's what I like to say, releasing the mush and activating the crisp because that gets rid of the water, which is cooking the waffle, which is gonna make it crispy. So the less steam you get, the more likely it's gonna be done. So watch for that steam to go away. All right, it's been about five minutes. Go up there. I think these still need a little more. Like, they're cooked, but they're not crispy. You know what I'm saying? Let's give them, like, two more minutes. Oh, that looks better. I'm just going to pull it on a cooling rack here. Oh, that one ripped. What a shame. Um, all right, let's give this waffle a try. Mm. I like that it's not too sweet. Like a tablespoon of sugar to two cups of flour is really not a lot. But you're going to be putting that sweet syrup on there, right? Oh, that's really good. You can definitely taste that creamy butter. Mm. These remind me a lot of um, Eggo waffles, honestly. Because, like, they're buttery. They're not overly sweet. I don't think Eggo waffles are really sweet. Oh, yeah. That's going to go over well. I'm going to close it down, let it get warmed back up. It'll give me that ready button when it's ready. Go figure. I'm going to keep plugging along, making a bunch of waffles for the family. And then, and then I'm going to get these wrapped up and stored in Ziploc bags in my freezer. So anytime I need a quick breakfast, I can just throw in some waffles. Thank you, Vever, for letting me try your waffle maker. I absolutely love it. Now let's talk price on this. It's only $43.99 when you register at Vever. Now register just means you put in your normal information. It's nothing crazy and then you're registered with them and then use my affiliate code below and you'll get an additional five percent off guys that is a steal on a commercial grade waffle maker check out their other waffle makers if there's one in particular that you would like let me know and i will send you the five percent coupon for that one each item requires a different code so let me know if you're interested in a certain item i will get you hooked up with that Thank you so much forever for this fantastic waffle maker. I can't wait to make all the things. And if you're looking for something interesting to do with your waffle maker besides just regular waffles, my friend Chris over at City Girl Homestead had made pizza cheese stuffed waffles. Oh yeah, I'll leave that video linked below. So go give it a look over if you're looking for something unique to do with your waffle maker. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll catch you next time on Mama Birds. Mm -hmm.